What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Neek G, the host. And listen, man, we about to react to NLE Chopper response to baby mama letter to my daughter. And I don't know why this woman putting this boy through this shit, but we about to react to it. You dig what I'm saying? And see what the hell is going on. Because they said he shot at her, allegedly. Let's get into it. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Neek G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? And if you are new, welcome to the league. Now, I'm talking about today. Like, it's motherfucking... It is uh, 5 o'clock in the morning, to be exact. Uh, I can't sleep. When you can't sleep, work. Uh, why not? Um, so, it's time for me to start putting videos back on this channel. And you know what I'm saying? Getting into some different shit. I've been... Doing a little research tonight, you know, get my little study going, get my studies going on tonight. And uh, it's time to me, for me to react to some new shit. And I'm putting it on both channels. So whoever see the shit, that's what, that, that, that's, that's what it is, okay? <laughs> but NLE Chopper responds to baby mama letter to my daughter. Let's get it. Let me clear the L on this too, because I've been seeing this too much. Okay. Man, on my heart. On my head and on my daughter, I have never shot at no pregnant lady. <laughs> don't even, don't even put that on my jacket. It's the pregnant lady for me. Thank you, cause I see it too much, and it's like y'all get stuff misconstrued, cause y'all don't really know what's what's really going on. The situation that they saying I shot at somebody is some shit that happened a whole long ass time ago. I have never shot at no pregnant woman. I have never shot in no house that my daughter was at, and I have never put my hands on no woman. I have never closed fist attacked any woman a day in my life, and that's on God himself, cuz. I ain't gonna cap. They kill me when they say closed fist. Because that, that don't take away from you slapping her, choking her, shit like that. But it's just like they make it sound so much worse when they say, I never closed fist, and I ain't, I ain't saying I ain't slapped a bit. But I promise to God I ain't closed fist. That's on everything I love, bro. Ain't nobody ever did that, man. Get that out. I'm going to say that. Ain't nobody ever did that. Third thing. Man, it was, man I'm, I'm missing something, man. It's, it's just so much. Like, I'm just trying to get it all out the best way I can. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, bro, let's let it be what it be, man. They be going through it, boy. This stuff right here, bro. This, you know what I'm saying, man. Especially when the woman got full control of the situation. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times, I feel like they got full control because these niggas done fucked up somewhere down the line. Clearly. But I mean fucked up bad, though. To the point where, you know, you might have put your hands on her or she caught you doing something with another chick or whatever, man. At this point, this shit has become petty torture. But I'm, I'm feeling like some of these dudes need to be uh, making these women sign contracts before they get them pregnant. Or when they get them pregnant. Hell. Nah, before. Before they get them pregnant. Sign a good old contract. Because uh, you're not about to just be taking my baby for no fucking reason. Hell no. Nah. I'm over here hurting and hitting and shit. I'm rather cry in the uh, What's that shit that, what's that is? <laughs> rather cry with stars on my roof than in a Honda. Nah, that's a myth. <laughs> Cause don't nobody want to cry at all. You know what I'm saying? I know I don't. I damn sure don't. No man, no way, shape, or form. Cause at the end of the day, I'm gonna let God do what he do. I'm gonna let him work the situation out the best as he can. Oh, but yeah, I just stop playing with my name, bro. Like, ain't nobody ever shot no house up with my daughter. And uh, you saying I shot my house up, but the affidavit said it was no shells found on the ground. It was no bullets in the house. How the fuck I shoot a house up? You saying I hit you, I did you, I assaulted you, but you ain't have not one bruise on you, bro. Like, how the fuck did I assault you? Where's your, where's your bruises? You would have been posted your bruises. 
Am I That's lying? It. Now, if I assaulted somebody, you no, would have been, you would have had a busted lip or some, some, cause I don't, I don't swing, I don't, I don't swing softly. Like, come on, bro, you would have had some. If anything, I was the only person scarred up that day, bro. I'm the one that, I'm the one that got assaulted. Goddamn it, I'm the one left out that house with scars on my, on my fucking back. You know what I'm saying? Lip fucked up. I'm the one. You know what I'm saying? Nobody ever did that, bro. What the fuck. Nobody ever shot. Then that make them have more kids and shit. Just because they lost out on this. That ain't no pregnant woman, bro. Like, what? Y'all be painting this narrative on me. And, like, I'm, I'm so sick of that shit being painted on my jacket. Like, that ain't, that ain't chalk, bro. I don't, I don't. Man, what? No. 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 And then people bringing my mama into this. Like, of course my mom going to feel some type of way. If you inviting me to see my daughter and... And you saying she can't come or my brother can't come. Like, what you mean? They ain't seen that girl. Bro, my, this is my grandparents' first time seeing them today. And it's only because it's only. Why is it that? It, why is it that it is so much control? And I guess because, well, I, maybe I can answer that myself, though. I mean, clearly, you know. The person who's taking care of the child gonna have the child the most. And that nigga can't have that child like that. So when he wanna get him, that's when it's an issue. Yeah. Because my grandpa been getting sick, bro. And like my grandma, she getting older at the same time. Like they getting older. Like if it wasn't for today, because if it wasn't for the Breakfast Club preview with my son, I don't think that. I don't, I ain't know when my grandparents are going to see her. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I hate to do shit like this. And I know it's Clover's birthday and I hate to do shit like that. Like this. And I ain't even on no attention, attention seeking shit. I'm just trying to live. You know what I'm saying? Sit the fucking record straight. Like, bro, stop playing with me. Like, that ain't what it is. Like, it, it's nowhere near what the picture that's painted. Like, it's nowhere near that. Like that's why, man, it's nowhere near that. In no way, shape, form. It's no way, it's nowhere near. You know what I'm saying? I oh yeah, and then you and then let me address this part too. So if everybody listen, I need everybody to listen. Okay. Gee, you don't you don't send no DNA test to nobody house. If the bro, you do not send no damn DNA test to send one and then you get put on child support. You have to file child support. And the court orders you to take a DNA test. Your attorneys order you to take a DNA test. Just in case. Just in case. Like, I knew 100% Clover was mine. Only reason why I took a DNA test is because my attorney ordered me to. The court ordered to. Ordered us to. So you won't be paying child support for a child that ain't yours. All right. Talking about I sent you I sent the DNA. Why the fuck would I send a DNA test to your house and I don't even be with my I didn't see I wasn't with my daughter. What I look like, what I look like sending. Let me make sure it's mine, even though I ain't seeing her. That don't even make sense, bro. So wait, wait a minute. <laughs> She's saying that he sent the DNA test to her house, and then what make this even more fucked up? They can just come on the internet and say any damn thing. Just any damn thing. That shit crazy. That doesn't make sense. How the fuck do you send a DNA test to somebody and you not even with the little girl? You, The daughter is not with you. The daughter is in your possession. Why would I send a DNA test? I mean, how you... And what's crazy, though, because, like, What's really crazy is I still got the text message of her saying before my baby even came out, I still got the text message of her telling me she was going to do all this before this shit happened. Damn. But I'm the bad guy. And this premeditated murder right here. Oh, wow. This premeditated. I still got the text message of a motherfucker telling me that they was going to block my number, that was going to change their address, that was going to block my whole make sure my whole her whole family block my family like bro like this shit was premeditated bro and like for people to side with some toxic ass shit like that the niggas always lose don't they even if they ain't lying 
But for some reason, you know, niggas got to rip a line, so eh, they don't necessarily go in your favor. Even, even, even on top of the false ass allegations, bro. Even if that shit was true, bro. For you to side with some shit like that, bro. That shit is disgusting, bro. And like, you don't know what life is. This shit is disgusting, bro. This is my first time seeing my daughter today, man. My first time since fucking around this time next week. Next week around this time was the last time I seen my baby girl. Today, I finally got a chance to see her. And like I said, I'm gonna keep saying it because of the Breakfast Club. June 18th is when that song aired. June 18th is when I got the goddamn um, invitation. Not no month ago, not no few weeks ago. If I would have had that invitation a month ago, a few weeks ago, you would have never even probably sing that song. I swear to God. No, it ain't even no problem. You would have never sing that song. Because it would have been unnecessary. And then, you know what would be so stupid about us on the internet? I'm saying us because I done did it before. You trying to explain to some people who don't know your situation about your situation that ain't gonna do shit but judge your situation hey no. would have never seen that song june 18th breakfast club posted half of my song june 18th is when i got the invitation i ain't gonna lie y'all smart as hell y'all know how to make a motherfucker look like the bad guy y'all know how to y'all know how to do that I can't give you that. Y'all are smart as a motherfucker. Like, damn, y'all smart. If I was in your shoes, I would have damn it did the same thing to make myself look good. But I'm coming here. I'm, I'm tired. I'm not. Because cause people know people know I'm not going to want to say nothing. People know I'm not going to want to clear no air because I don't do no social media. I don't do no talking because I don't do none of that. People knew it was going to come to. You, you knew I wasn't going to want to address it. So I'm going to just go and address it since you knew I didn't want to. I'm going to go and do it. You know what I'm saying? June 18th, I got an invitation. Friday. Today is Sunday. Song was already turned in before that. And even if and even if I could have could have told them, nah, let's not drop it, it would have never happened. Cause guess what? I got that shit the same day that you heard that song. You was just trying to stay two steps ahead. Which you did. You did. You stayed two steps ahead for sure. You for sure did it. You stayed two steps ahead. I mean, I just, is he taking her to court or what? Cause I would. But I'm coming here to let y'all know. And if y'all wanna, y'all can look at this live when we done. Y'all can go back and see the invitation I got June 18th. And y'all can go ask DJ Envy, the whole Breakfast Club, when they played that song. Why I'm trying to look like the bad guy. Why I'm the bad guy. You know what I'm saying? And it's sick and then broke. Cause like, it don't matter how much I plead and ask. Like, damn, let's come to some fool. It ain't that. It's let the courts, it's let the courts handle this and let the court. The court gonna handle it when at the same time you know damn well because of covid all these courts been pushed back right. so by the time we get a final agreement on something bro even damn with baby gonna be five even years bro old. i got two cases i got a felony charge that she put against me that she lied uh, she lied on me i can damn i can, man if a motherfucker got a lot of tick to test right here pull up on me with a lot of tick to test man right hand to god himself bro Ain't nobody put my hands on no woman. Ain't nobody shoot at nobody's house with my daughter inside. That don't even make sense, bro. What type of dumbass doing shit like that? And if it did happen, why wasn't no 762 shells on the ground? Why wasn't no bullets in the house? Why nobody got shot? Cause I'm who 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 story? How's the story even sticking? If none of this happened, I'm not understanding. Don't do attempts. The fuck. Man, like I said, bro. And at the end of the day, y'all, don't think I'm ever mad. Like, don't ever think I'm mad. Don't. <laughs> I know I just probably got a little heated, but at the end of the day, y'all, I'm blessed. Life is great. Life has been amazing to me. I have a beautiful daughter. I seen her today. Everything is going well for me. I can't say a bad thing. It's going bad for me because at the end of the day, I know that it's supposed to happen. It's growth in me into something bigger and better. Growth in me. Got you know it. what I'm saying? It's maturing me. It's helping me learn. I got to hear that again. 
you know what I'm saying? It's maturing me, threw me into something bigger than me because at the end of the day, I know that it's supposed to happen. It's growth in me into something bigger and better. Growth in me. That shit crazy. That's a first. You know what I'm saying? It's maturing me. It's helping me learn. I'm so glad I went through this situation and I'm so glad I'm still going through it. It's an unfortunate situation, but guess what, bro? Better, better right now than, than, than later. You hear me? I want to learn this shit young. Because I got a long ass life ahead of me, so I want to keep learning this shit young. I want to keep going through this stuff young. I want to keep seeing these lessons. And he, him a baby. I want to keep, I want to keep going through these lessons, bro. And I'm blessed for every lesson because every, every, every situation I've been in, shit could have been worse. That's how I look at shit. I'm beyond grateful for what I got. I'm beyond grateful that I'm going to court. I'm beyond grateful that I'm getting shit straight. I'm beyond grateful, bro. I feel them on that. Because at the end of the day, I'm going to still smile. And I'm going to still hold my head high. And whatever, whatever a motherfucker do to break me, it won't work. Because I love my damn self. Oh, God. I love myself. Only people that don't. Yeah, that's the real shit I heard all night. Shit. I don't know, man. You got to know who you are. You know what I'm saying? You 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 genuinely have to know who you are. You know what I'm saying? As a person, to not to not let nobody control you. You know, one thing uh, TT did teach me, or always remind me of is, um, not not I'm having a brain fart. <laughs> he who angers you controls you. I thought my phone was ringing. Yeah, it's time for me to go to sleep. It's 5 a.m. 5 o'clock in the morning. But nah, he who angers you controls you. So yeah. I don't be getting mad no more, for real. Because you ain't finna control me, bitch. Yeah, they. <laughs> nah, but anyway, I'm done with this video, man. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. We are on to the next video. Peace.